This is the fourth video in the series that I've been doing on bullying books and the authors who wrote them. The first book in this one is Buddha Boy by Kathy Koja. Now, Kathy didn't intend to write a book about bullying, although bullying is a big part of this story. When she writes, she usually starts with some kind of a visual image, and from there, that starts her story. So, this story, she saw a boy with a shaved head in a big shirt that was too brightly colored, and he was standing on a steps looking down the stairwell at another boy. And that was how the story started. Now, the book really does have something to do with bullying. Jensen, one of the um, characters in the book, was a bully in the past. And some of the moments in this book she constructed to illustrate a point. Personally, she loathes bullies of all kinds. Kids who are bullies, preachers who are bullies, politicians who are bullies. And she feels that the anger that she feels at those bullies was definitely the driving force in this book. The other book in this series, in this report, is Nailed by Patrick Jones. Uh, I love this book. Nailed um, is the story of a kid. Um, the reason why the book is called Nailed is because the father in the story always says it's the, the, the nail that sticks out that gets hammered the most. And so he's trying to get his son, Brett, to not stick out so much. Can't you just, you know, kind of be like everybody else? And Brett is not like everybody else. So his inspiration for this story was mixed. Some of the scenes, like when a teacher implies that Brett is gay, actually happened to Patrick Jones when he was in high school. Um, the idea of a father and son not getting along, sadly, was really based on his own personal experience growing up. Um, he said that when he does school talks, he generally gets drawn to the kids who are those kids who are by themselves, who dress differently than everyone else, who aren't conforming like everybody else. He says that those kids really are very strong. They're really stronger than the kids who are conforming. It's just that, like the, ha the nail that sticks out, they tend to get hammered the most. He also said that we've been trained by television and movies to expect a certain outcome like a happy ending, and that just always doesn't happen. Um, Brett, in this book, is bullied by three different people. He's bullied by his father, he's bullied by Hitchings, and he's even bullied by his girlfriend, Kylie, um, who bullies Brett using sex rather than violence. And so he has to make a choice, and one choice he has is violence, but he chooses not to use violence. And that's a really powerful message in this book. Again, two more great books in our series on bullying books. Please check these books out or books like them. Get some discussion started.